So, you probably already know this dress. Yeah, this one. So pretty, right? It was all over social media this year and no one knows why. Some people tried to figure it out but it's actually really simple. It's a really pretty dress for a really shitty year. Anyway, this dress was created by the talented designer Lyrico Matoshi. And you guys should follow her on Instagram because her account is full of pretty things. And as soon as I saw this dress, I got inspired and I knew I needed to make something pink and with lots of strawberries. But what? After a lot of thinking and researching and scrolling through Pinterest, I found this. And it took me to this and this and all of these. But my main reference was still this. There. I was settled. I was going to combine the strawberry dress with the pink 18th century matte waistcoat. First I chose this pink linen as the fashion fabric. It's really soft and the color was perfect. And it's a great choice for the embroidery because the weave is very defined. And I also picked this ivory cotton fabric with little diamonds all over it for the lining and the back. So pretty. After cutting all the patterns, I also cut a piece of stiffened cotton fabric to add some structure to the part with the buttons and the collar as well. First I sewed the back flaps and the pockets, and I actually made a specific video on these pockets, so if you want to watch it, the link will pop up right now. Then I sewed the collar and I was ready to start marking the fabric for the embroidery. I used one of those markers that actually disappear with heat.
Using a cotton embroidery thread, I made some tests on a spare fabric to see what would look better. And in the end, I chose the left one. Then I basically did a decorative running stitch all over the waistcoat. Then after some hours of work I decided I didn't like it so I took it all out and made even tinier stitches, as you see here on the left. Then it was finally time to mark the placements of my little strawberries. I embroidered a little chain stitch around the pocket just to add a little more definition.
And I also created a design for the pocket because I was anxious and I wanted to see how it will look like. <laughs> After marking the placements of the buttonholes, I drew the base lines for the embroidery around them. A few days later, this was the result. And a few more days later... Then it was time to design the embroidery of the collar.
While I was drinking this delicious strawberry smoothie, I made a chain stitch around the collar for more definition. And now it's time to assemble the pieces together. After turning the waistcoat to the right side, I decided to make a chain stitch all around the front border. Using a whip stitch, I closed the armholes. I made a running stitch on the front to help hold the fabric in place while I sewed the buttonholes. I'm actually gonna be posting a buttonhole tutorial soon, so stay tuned to my channel and don't miss it.
If you want to see a detailed tutorial on how I made these buttons, you can just watch my last video. These little buttons are just the cutest thing. Then all that was left was to sew the buttons in place.
So here I paired the waistcoat with a green chemise that I made and I have a tutorial for it here on my channel if you want to check it out. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a comment. It really helps me to know that I'm doing well. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram for much more fun things. See you next time.